we have the children, mm -hmm. and this is said from um, Proverbs, the fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. It said, my children, listen to a father's teaching and gain understanding. Yeah. Give, you, give you good advice, so don't turn away from what I teach you. I was once a young boy in my father's house. I was my child. My father taught me. He said, hold on to my word with all your heart. Keep your command. Then you will live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Don't forget my words. Don't turn away from them. Stay close to wisdom and she will keep you safe. Amen. When Lord have a blessing to the word, to Amen. hearing of his word. Proverbs uh, fourth chapter and to the and uh, to the uh, shippers. Amen. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for reading that word. Amen. Now, collective work and responsibility. Let's read it together. Everybody got it? It's the third one. And I'm sorry, it's a little bit um scrambled on this copy i noticed so let's we'll read as much of it as we can and then i'll add to it okay 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 lyric tall enough to light the candle herself right I'll not even use the. Oh well, Curtis. Before you go, can you well? Uh, can you just yeah, stay I, until I until she lights the candle? Yeah. Come on, here, Curtis. Here, Curtis. Curtis, I want you to plan. I want you to plan. No, I mean, okay. she's tall enough to do it. It's just the lighting part. Right. Right. No, no. I mean, I want him to plan. The yeah, I told him. Okay. Right. Okay. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, okay. Everybody ready? To read it, to build Eugema collective work, work and, and responsibility, responsibility to build, build and maintain our community together and make our brothers, brothers problems, our problems, and solve them together. 
effort to miss it and sob them yeah, together. Amen. Yeah, and sob them together. Mm -hmm. Now, what does it mean to make your brothers and sisters' problems your problem? Let's talk about it after uh, he lights the candle for Lyric. Okay. So that, uh, you okay. know, he, he can pick him up. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, you you got to uh we put the light over here right like under the um yesterday we put the light under here this i thought we had put the lighter uh oh here it is all right no 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 it's not time to light it yet we're getting ready for the libations first no, she, she, we gotta do the libation. Oh, you do the libation. Right, remember? And ask the ancestors to come into the room and to be with us. All right, everybody. Uh, everybody get your cup. It's time for the libation statement. Eric Curtis, where's your cup? There's Curtis is right there. That little blue one. You get right there on the table. Okay, everybody ready? Yes. Our fathers and mothers, this is the Tai Chi La Tabico, the libation statement. Our fathers and mothers came here, lived, loved, struggled, and built here. At this place, their love and labor grows like the sun, sun and gave strength and meaning to the day. day. For them then, who gave us much we give in return, on this same soil, we will sow our seeds and build and move in unity and strength. Here too, we will continue their struggle for liberation and a higher level of human life. May our eyes be the eagle. eagle. May our strength be the <laughs> and may the boldness of our life be like the lion. <laughs> and, the, and may we remember and honor our ancestors and the legacy they left for as long as the sun Shine. and the waters And struggle means that 
I wanted to work an extra hour tonight. But I said I have to get home to do Kwanzaa. Yeah. So yeah. I made hey. myself stop work that I needed to do so that I could be here for Kwanzaa. Say Kwanzaa first. Mm -hmm. Justin yesterday said when everything was going south and people were having issues, he said, I could have made money if I had gone and done stuff. But I stayed because of Kwanzaa. All right. I wanted to be here for Kwanzaa. Marvin cooked early so that everybody so we could eat to go to Kwanzaa. Struggle means you do things that you don't normally exactly. do. Yes. You make your time available to you sacrifice, oh, yes. struggle. There was a struggle for me to leave my office. Yes. And yes. It was a, it's a struggle. So I just want to point out that this Kwanzaa is meant to be enjoyable, of course. It's meant to be fun. But it's also meant to be serious for the adults. Mm -hmm. And that we should be teaching the children through our examples how to struggle. Yeah. Because struggle means that you're going to inevitably yeah. set up something. Yeah. 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 And you're not going to be able to do everything yeah. according to your own will. Yeah. So, all right. So, we're going to light the candles. We have three candles to light tonight. It's your, hey, it's your time, Larry. <laughs> There's only three candles. Oh, oh, All right, now. Zabion got to start. And then so he is ready. Yeah. But now Larry's going to do the candles for tonight. Then Curtis, Zay you said, missed it. She said it four up. times. She said, I'm lighting the candles today. Right, it's her time. No one said anything. She said, I'm lighting the candles today. Right. <laughs> Okay, everybody ready? First candle, Umoja! The black center candle. Second candle, Kuji Chakalia! The third candle, the first time is lit, Ujima! There we go, yay! You did it, right? We got three beautiful lit candles. Amen. Three beautiful lit candles. Three beautiful lit candles. Before you leave, you want to let Curtis go first on yes. what Kuji Chocolate means. That, I mean, Ujima. Uh, what Ujima means, Ujima means, to, means yeah. to you. Yes. Curtis, since you're about to go, uh, why don't you uh, start us off? on what it means to you and how you want to apply it to yourself in 2019? Uh, well, I mean, as far as... Uh, Collective work and responsibility. responsibility yeah. Other people's problems, your problems. And, you and to solve them. You talked about it a little I mean, bit I yesterday, wanna, yeah, but some people may not have heard it. But I, mean, I want to I talk about... I want to talk about... No, but some people didn't hear it yesterday. We might need to hear that. I mean, as far as, uh, I don't want to, I really don't. <laughs> well, basically, you know, if there's a problem around the house, as far as like, um, you know, people need their cars worked on or, you know, mm -hmm. somebody need, like like you said yesterday, um, y'all need your license and yeah. you need help doing that. Uh, I'm there for you, needed. you know. Mm -hmm. um, we for real, for real, the people don't really come to me, you know, yeah. um, until everything hits the fan. I heard you to do this. Because you came to me and said, Auntie, I check your fluids. Right. Yeah. And they are low. Yeah. You came to me. Right. I didn't say, Curtis, I need help. Yeah. So that's, that, yeah. that's collective work. That's right. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you you made that problem too. your problem. And he doesn't know today that I heard him out there cutting that yard. He cut the yard. My, my no, V day. A V day. Oh, and my heart just flooded. I was just so happy. Yeah. I mean, just because I work. Just because I work don't mean you know, I'm not there. All y'all do is come to me, let me know. I might I might have to get some rest before, but I, I'll make sure everything is taken care of. So yeah, in the new year, I think I think I'll be better at doing that as far as um 
coming to people, asking them, you know, if you need something. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd be there for everybody. I mean, because yeah. last year it was a struggle for me because I was trying to do my own thing as far as um, okay. trying to, you know, get my stuff together with a job and make sure that everything was in line. Oh, this year, since everything is going smooth and everything, you Thank know, there's you no see. problems, I'm going mm -hmm. to help, I'm gonna help yeah. others. Probably like my brother, he needs help. He needs somebody to pull him Freaks. up right now. Yeah, so, and he shouldn't mm -hmm. be bringing you down. Because he should, he should have been thoughtful enough to be here so you didn't have to leave Christ. That's not right. Yeah, but he needed a, need a little help right now, so I'm going to try to help him out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to let him go, so I help him. Um, but yeah, that's all. I'm going to end just, just the new year. I'm going to just try to help out more. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just be myself, basically, but a little, little better. Basically. Amen. All right. Well, that's Lyric right. just gave a good one. Lyric just Lyric. Did what I liked. She had a thought while her dad what's your, was talking. What's your Ujima? She asked me a question. Tell me what you asked me. Your car light is on. Right. What? Yeah, your car light. She saw that uh, they noticed when they came in that my car light was on. Oh, so when she heard her dad tell other people's problems, their problems, oh, she yeah. said, she looked at me and said, Auntie. Your car light is still on. Your car light is on. And I told him, don't worry, I've already taken care of it because she let me know. But she made my problem her problem. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. That was living, living in Jesus. Living in Jesus. Xavion, stop hiding behind your sister. They <laughs> found You got one? For collective work and responsibility, how you make somebody else's problems your problems so you can help solve them? Trinity. No. You said. No. No. Trinity no. time. You to make that stuff. Serenity. Say it, Trinity. I said it. But she does it all the time. Serenity and Zay and Larry do it all the time. What'd you say? I hear no, Grandma. No. I hear your mother say. How does she say? She says her mom. She says she's gonna help Zay Zay out. Oh, you, yes. you wanna say it again? Yeah. Right. You, know, you know what you gotta do now? No. No? Okay. Uh -huh. you ask, huh? Oh, you know who's coming to you next? Oh. Well, this is kind of hard because some things you don't have to be minded in other people's business. You might want to help them. They say, mind your own business. <laughs> so, the only thing I have to say about that is be careful what you do, but still try to be helpful and yeah. keep a smile on your face. And they appreciate it. That's it. All right. Aisha. Okay. Um, mine is mm. which it works grandma all the time. Yeah. But the mail. I'm gonna make the commitment oh, yeah. so when I go pick up the kids from school, stop by the mailbox oh, around good. that time. Mm -hmm. And she is always asking, Did anybody get the mail? Did anybody get the mail? <laughs> so I'll make a commitment to picking the mail up, you know, when I come in from bringing the kids from yeah. school. Grandma. Okay. I think I, I'm just a type of being in everybody's business. <laughs> <laughs> so I always do want to know what everybody's doing and what they didn't do and what they need to do. And so I'm going to still do that. I'll be on the edge of being and think about what to do and what should be done. And I just want to be a better person for the house. Okay. Oh, sweet, Grandma. Well, I want to read a little bit from the principal, because I think uh, certain ways that the principal is being interpreted is different than what it's meant for. Okay, let's see the real. Okay, it says, this is the, oh, I'm sorry, here it is. The, the third principle is Ujima, Ujima, collective work and responsibility, which is a commitment to active and informed togetherness on matters of common concern, a common interest. It is also recognition and respect of the fact that without collective work and struggle, progress is impossible. 
Yes. And liberation unthinkable. Mm -hmm. Certain things you can't just do by yourself in yes. life. Yeah. yeah. That's why in Africa they say what? It takes a village yes. to yes. raise a yes. child, mm -hmm. to defend yes. the nation, to yeah. build a nation. Mm -hmm. It's here to take some yes. So it's not about being in anybody's business. Yeah. It's about issues of common interest. Um, common interest. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I should have read it earlier yeah. uh, to give more clarity to the, you know, I you know, I used to read these principles a lot at the beginning, uh, but I haven't done that this as much this step this time. Because it's not saying you're in somebody's business. No. It's a common mm -hmm. interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, common interest. I mean that is yours. So, like when, your so a good example is when Marvin's car broke down, yeah. and that hurt my entire house. Oh yes, because he couldn't do all the things he does for the house. That wasn't Marvin's problem. Yeah, that wasn't Marvin's that. business. That was something that affected all of us. Yeah, all of my yeah. So when somebody's sick and can't do for themselves that's not their problem because we want everybody to be healthy in the house yes. and so we need to think about this in a, a broader way you know certain things you just can't do by yourself there's certain things that people think you can do by yourself that you can't uh you know they say what what's the saying no man is in Island. I mean, that you're not by yourself because everything you do, think about it. When we get up this in the morning, what do we do? We go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. We turn on water. You didn't, we didn't go to no river to get that water. Right. Yeah. Somebody had to make a system, maintain that system, make sure the water quality is good. So we can have just the ability to wash our face. Yes. yes. The ability to take a bath, the ability to drink water. I mean, yes. nothing happens just by ourselves. No way. We can't say, oh, no, nobody does anything for me. I got to do everything for myself. That's not yes. true. When I go to the gas station to buy gas for the car, somebody had to make sure there was oil, a car, that there was, you know, oil yeah. and gas for the car yeah. in the right pump. Right. Somebody has to make sure the pump is set right. Somebody has to make sure that it charges at the right That's prices right. on there for the gas. Every time you drive down the street, these lights, these lights don't come from nowhere. There's an electric company. That provides electricity. Yeah. That gives light to the house. We don't do that. We pay for it. Yeah. We pay for a service. Yeah. And why do we pay for the service? Because, because, we, need it. because yeah. we can't do it without yeah. the service. Yeah. Otherwise, we've been running around here with candles. Yeah. You know, lit candles yeah. and batteries and yeah. all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. But so, you know, it's just a reminder that we're not the islands people think they are. People get up and they think that because they just turn on their computer and stay at home all day, that somehow they're an island. If they're by, all by themselves, but they're dependent on everybody. They're dependent on the internet. They're dependent on all these services. So this is a very important principle because it's reminding us that there's something else that was very important and what is can't be made. It didn't just say maintenance and sustenance and just living day to day. It said progress. So this goes back to what you were saying yesterday, Justin, that, you know, the help to make sure that Caitlin and DeAnthony and Aisha get their license, everybody's got to help. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's progress when that happens. 
And like I said, if you get three drivers in that house, I guarantee you a car will come to the house. Another car will appear. And that will make a big difference. So progress requires collective work and responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, I'm sorry, that's me. No, no, you, you didn't. Um, what, what is your, what are you going to do in 2019? Um, that, that, um, how are you going to apply Ujima in 2019 differently than you did in 2018? Wow, that's a great <laughs> question. That's some of that you will be supporting that you just brought up. Well, you know, one of the things I've been trying to think about is how to, um, work with Sharon more closely so that um, mom can have somebody to come in and help her during the week. And we've talked about it forever, but we've done nothing. And and I wanna really make that happen this time, Justin. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Another thing is, um, uh, and probably this is, selfish in, in one regard, but I've been really giving serious thought to how to um, create a, a real working office in the house uh, yeah. so that we don't take your ta the dining room table and take the yeah. dining room all the time. So that would be a big difference. So I've been looking at that sunroom and thinking about what I can do with it, since it's the most unoccupied, less used room in the yeah. house. And you I've been thinking, use it. right? I've been thinking about how we can use that it. instead of the dining room, which is so disruptive to everybody. But if we worked out of the sunroom, that's quieter. Yeah. That yeah. wouldn't hear no us, no and I wouldn't hear y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah, and we could make the mess we want to make and it wouldn't look bad yeah. to the house. Mm -hmm. So that's collective. That's a good one. You know, so I've been trying to think about those kinds of things. God's put that on my mind to, you know, to, to, to be more um, thoughtful and considerate that way. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's been on my mind. Yeah. And I think that that would make a difference and it would make things uh, a lot better. I know it's simple, but it's still something important. Gotcha. I didn't sound. <laughs> I didn't Sounds sound. good. Did you get Aisha? Yeah, I got Aisha. I got. Oh wait, you want one more try? Want to try again, Zavion? <laughs> Uh, just say something. I say something to help somebody. You know a lot, Zay Zay. He does. He does a lot. You know a whole just lot. Just say something. Give, give him a hint, Lyric. Okay. A hand is something to help somebody. What does Zay Zay do to help everybody? Clean up. He helps clean up. That's collective work yeah. and responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. They say that's collective work and responsibility when you're helping to clean up. Uh, uh, yeah. in the house, he do little chores. Hey, hey, uh, 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 feet off the chair. That's feet off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? She said that's not collective work and responsibility. Oh, but he's him, not him, not him putting the feet on the chair. Right, no, right. That is the opposite. <laughs> That's the opposite. Everybody do little chills for grandma. Oh, the money rocking. I didn't do this for grandma. I know, mama. You got it going on in the house. You got serenity running. You got everything. I got that. Huh? Oh, go ahead. Tell us. Me. Tell us your own thing. Oh, you got one? What is it? Because I that Larry can turn to and help me today. And not only I had to clean up. I did, I was doing was something. I did homework. Oh! I was doing homework. Okay, that was, that was, that was, that was supposed to be.
together. And, and I was like, they can they did and your friend didn't do their part. I was, oh, I was doing research. He cleaned up the entire room so they didn't do their part. No, she part. wasn't doing anything. Oh, like, she was just playing oh, with her smartphone. Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, no, I wasn't. I was doing research. Sorry, dog. I was doing research. Oh, 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 I was doing research. 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 Okay, Justin, what's your Uzi mark? Oh, uh, so I, I think I accidentally said it the first day when we were talking about uh, Umoja. When I was talking about uh, making uh, other people's problems your problems. If Uncle Carr break down, that's not just uh, on him. You know, um, I said, like, if Aisha, you know, got um, uh, stopped at the gas station because Curtis left the key, that that's not just... She not just short, you know, like Caitlyn not having a license and it, it, it reversely affected D'Anthony, you know, because she was always up when he was getting off that bus. And had she been driving, she might have came and picked him up and he might still have that job, you know, like instead of having to walk in 22 degrees weather from the bus stop, that probably contributed to being like, yeah. oh, well, you know. Yeah, some of it. It's You don't want to do anything that's inconvenient, no matter how much you need to do it. You know, it being more convenient helps. Uh, so I was, I started reading, Um, I started reading again and I was thinking about the project uh, for Aisha, uh, the collective work and responsibility where I'm going to film her doing the hair. Yes. And one of them would be like four people who really care about doing hair. And then one would be the sped up version for the other people who just want to see the end results, you know, how the hair started, how it ended. Yes. And I came up with the idea that you should come up with a name for the style when it's finished, oh, you know, so that then like, you know, if someone show, let's say someone just showed their hairdresser uh -huh. and was like, I want you to do my hair like this. It's called the, okay. you know, and then that would be, that would be your thing. You know, like you, you basically like coined the term every time. And like, I was thinking about that today. I was like, well, she, for the people who, you know, are just going to want to see be results oriented, they still going to need a way to talk about it. Right. I was like, well, if she gave it a name. Yeah. Then people would say, oh, that, right. you know, and that would and that would be something that was all yours. You know, one day you might walk down the street, go to a hair salon and hear somebody say that and be like, that's mine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I agree. so that was, uh, nice. yeah. that was what I came up with uh, last that's night nice. when I was, when I was thinking about. Got you Caitlin said that, uh, Kate, yeah, Caitlin said, uh, she said this a while back, so I'll just say for her, for her, she said that uh, me and her should start reading the grandma, you know, yes. whenever her and I read those, like, different books and, like, yes. we talk to them, she said that we should go read them to grandma. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she was like, that, we, um, that would, you know, like, um, help keep grandma active. Yeah, you know, and and engaged, and yeah. that whenever we're reading something new, like don't just do it. And and she was also telling me because you know she'd be at work with you that don't just read by myself. Like yeah. I can go downstairs and do that with grandma, right. and then that would be that's collective because I'm already doing it, right. just right. including her in it. Yeah, it just make it. The other day when you asked me, um, are you going to the store? Right. You know, I was, I was thinking to myself, I was like, well, in the future, that that is something we should do. Like, because we all kind of go to the store on our own. Right. You know, and we never stop to think. Like, sometimes I, I sometimes I see uncle at Wise. That's right. We'll run into each other. Right. <laughs> you <laughs> know? Yeah. And it's like, had, had I talked to him and he, and maybe he would have been That's like, right. Justin, That's I'm right. already going to Wise. Give me $5 and I'll get the orange juice right. for you. Right. Yeah. Instead of us both making that same yeah. trip. Yeah. yeah. I could have just gave him $5 when he was already, or reverse. Sometimes maybe I'd be going up there. He was like, oh, Justin, here's $3. Can you get some milk? You know, instead of us both making that same trip to the same store, waiting in the same line, you know, to get some milk and oranges that one person could have got. And I like that when Aisha leaves from this floor to go to the store, and the money's right, right. <laughs> she'll say, anybody need anything? Yes. She'll look at me and say, Auntie, do you need something for the store? 
And so, you know, so that's that's a good point, Justin. That's like a big difference. When uh Aisha was telling me about um lyric and the and the the difference between math and reading and yes. uh and then Caitlin went and got me and right. said, Justin, well you went through that. Like tell her about you know what what you went through and that made me think that um remember when Xavion said he wanted to do better in school since lyric already does good in school she can she could help him you know by by saying what she whoever's stronger and she's stronger in reading and struggling in math and she can be stronger in reading and struggling in math so i had him kind of you know helping each other yeah that makes sense that's how you learn you know curtis when i was a little girl when I went to kindergarten, I could already read right. and write. Mm-hmm. That's because Marvin, Curtis, and Cecil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They also I work with them also working with her, yeah. you know, with little stuff that you yeah. got going on. So yeah. we got a little collective as possible. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one, Justin. <laughs> That was a good. Answer. I could probably, uh, I could probably do a little bit more actually with since me and Lyric are similar in the uh-huh. reading and math thing, and probably uh, just, you know, maybe when I'm reading to Grandma, maybe like in, include her in that, yeah, right. you know, yeah. since it's the same. Since I'm already doing it, that's why we're in, engaging Grandma, right. and then since me and Grandma are already doing it, just doing add her in, and then she'll just yeah. benefit from what and, we was already doing. And two other things, look. There's a, I saw on the uh, Twitter, they were celebrating this young uh, boy who has created a reading program for other kids. And he is a vocabulary builder. You know, most of reading is vocabulary. <clears throat> and, um, and, he's, and they say it's excellent. Yeah. He's created, this young kid has created this amazing program. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so I'll try to find that. The other thing is, there's a program out of um, oh gosh, it's a New York group, and they use because they're quote nerdy mm-hmm. and they like science and math. They use science and math to teach reading. So we need to try to find them too. Because yeah. they come up with all these games, all these games that are just, they say, amazing. Yeah, that's what was telling you. Right. yeah, yeah. Talking about how when it was a game, it was fine, right. as long as it wasn't right. tedious. You know, it didn't feel tedious right. when it was right. that way, yeah. So that's why I should um really, since me and Lyric have that same thing in common, you know, like probably whatever whatever for what for whatever reason it would be easy to help her with that and then like with Xavion for example whenever we um doing something like as a family like have him there because then that's him practicing you know being quiet not talking when it without being called on and then when he'll be in school it'll be easy because he'll be like oh when I was around grandma and auntie the other day I wanted to I wanted to scream but I didn't you know like get, get some practice at it you know, like if he was maybe like if I was reading to grandma and then Lyric was doing that, you know, to get better at reading. If Xavion just said and, and listened, you know, without saying anything, then that's him practicing. So if someone's reading in class, he won't feel compelled to, you know, talk out of turn because he'll be like, oh, I can't talk when Lyric and grandma and Justin are reading. So it's the same thing as that. And he just strengthening what he's already good at, too, since he's already good at that. It's just making him better. Yeah. And then Serenity would benefit from seeing all that and right. maybe not even have none of those struggles when it's her turn around. Well, Serenity has a gift for synthesizing. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> and she sure can dance. <laughs> synthesizing is when you take a whole lot of things and you make it really simple. Yes. And she can, she can hear a whole lot and reduce it to its fundamental elements. She's a synthesizer. I've been watching her. Oh, I'm watching her. We all got to help DeAnthony, too, because oh. Caitlin was telling me that, like, you know, when they was doing Rise Up in America, how, like, he hated to practice, hated to practice. Yeah. But then once they did it, it, you know, it would turn out good. That's his passion. It, it, it was one of 
it's like a personality type, you know. Yeah. Some people like me, mom, Caitlin's daughter, hope like they're we're all you kind of the same way. We're all like we, we all you need to do is show us what to do and then leave us alone. Like that's our personality. You know, just show us how to, you know, how to turn left and then we'll go on our own. But some people like like they feel abandoned when you tell them turn left and then you leave them. They literally they don't feel like it's handcuffed and they want you to hold their hand and walk with them. Otherwise, they feel like you abandon them. It's a personality thing. And, you know, some people really don't like to do stuff by themselves. They just lose motivation. But also, just to remember, you know, we have heard and it's true that people, the brain, the brain, the, 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 mm -hmm. canada, the brain likes to practice things. And what the brain will do is that even when we're sleeping, it will practice right. something. Yeah. So in my brain, my crazy brain, when I'm I'm sleeping. It gives speeches. Yeah. <laughs> He's up there giving speeches. Yeah, I, I think I have like an internal dialogue that's always going on. It uh, it'll be writing something, trying to express words, looking yeah. for other. Words. Grandma calls it the spirit. When an idea comes to her, it seems out of thin air. But she's been thinking about it the whole time. She'd be like, I was worrying about this. I was worrying so, about this. But another word for so worrying remember, is thinking remember of Remember they asked Michael Jordan, LeBron, and all of them say the same thing. They'll ask all these great athletes about why are they so good at the game. And all of them will say that at night they see the game. Yeah. Yeah. And they actually see themselves making that slam duck. But they, but they don't see it as, you know, they see it in slow motion. Yeah. Like each step that they're taking, how they're moving their arm, how they're yeah. positioning the ball, how they're putting it in. Because the brain likes to practice. Yeah. I feel like you're kind of talking more of Kuji Chakalia, though. You know, like, mm -hmm. like, 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 that's like a self-determination. That's what I was saying. Like me, you, Aisha, grandma. Caitlin's daughter, we all kind of have that. But D'Anthony need he like that's like one of those things that he's not he he needs more Uj Ujima, you know, Ujima. He needs like for example, Aisha was there when I was doing the music with him, he would do it for hours all night. Rico came over and he had him just sit. Had him just sit, you know, and watch us do the music or or participate, or you know, they didn't go out. He, you know, like, it, but but when it's by himself, when I tell him, oh, look, you can go to this website and you can get this beat and you can do that by yourself. He's not going for that. No. You know, he not. You don't hear no music downstairs, no nothing. He not. And you know what that means, Justin, is that we all learn differently. Yeah. yeah. You know, some of us, my best learning, I used to think all the way through high school. School, all the way through elementary, high school, college, law school, I thought my best way of learning was reading. And to this day, you'll notice I I outline everything that I read, and read it, and I and I see it in my head. I can see the pages, the where the words yeah. are, yeah. all of that. But I discovered something different. When I got ready to take my bar exam. Yeah. When I got ready to take my bar exam, everybody says you, you need to listen to the tapes. Um, and I said, tapes? Listen to some tapes. Huh? You thought you had to see it physically. Yeah. yeah. And they said, no, the tapes are better because it makes your recall different. Yeah. And I'm going, what? And I was shocked that when I started using the tapes, actually, I could learn faster. Sure I've never done it since. Yeah. But for the bar exam, I used the darn tapes. And it was better for me. And so, you know, we all learn differently. It may be that he's not, that he's out of a, a learning pattern where it has to be collective. That's why I was calling it Ujima as yeah. collective. Because like, if he ran into grandma and grandma said, have you got, have you finished the song yet? 
then that's motivation. You know, he's like, oh, and maybe instead of just hanging out, playing the game or whatever, you know, like yeah. the game downstairs, he might be like, well, grandma going to ask me about that song tomorrow. Yeah, right. You know, like, when he sees Serenity dance, when the music go on, I might be like, oh, yeah, like I need to, right. you know, like if we were all kind of if, you know, like if, if Caitlin was like, did you do the song? We can we can yeah. do it for the show on right. Friday. If you right. if you do the song, like because in order for him to do it. Yeah, cause cause some people like I feel like if I set up the camera and walked away, you could you would do the hair and you walk into Aisha explain why you, you know. But some some people they they need they need the person to say now Aisha why did you, you know you don't need it. But some people like they do better when someone else is kind of encouraging them, you know. And it's like I think with the music, I think that the reason why he hasn't been able to successfully do it by himself. It's because it's not the way he works. He needs that. Uh, he needs that U- U- Ujima and for right. us to all kind of collectively like tell him like we're invested in you doing your music. Yeah. And every time we see him, you know, just ask him, ask him about it. It could be as simple as us just asking him. You yeah. uncle just being like, you do the song yet? Yeah. Like that could yeah. be that little extra yeah. motivation yeah. that that makes him stay home and do that instead of. Yeah. But you know, hang out. That's so insightful because you're right that he is unique in that respect. Because Caitlin, me, you, most of us, we go off and study for ourselves and figure stuff out. Even Curtis to an extent. Right. You know? Curtis is very much that way. He likes to tinker. I think Zay is going to be kind of... Yeah, we were talking about that the other oh, day. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because I think he's going to be that kind of a learner. But I, I got it from when me and Aisha were talking about Xavion and how similar he was to Curtis. And then, you know, Lyric yeah. is so independent, too. But Serenity really opened up once everybody was involved. When it was just, when she was younger, she was real in her shell. But once everyone, you know, once I would see her and be like, hey, bad girl. And, you know, <laughs> Caitlin would run up to her. And once... Yeah, once everybody started like really being involved in her coming out of her shell, she came out of it. It didn't happen oh, on her own. I was returning something or something I was gonna do, and you know how they had the stuff in the return, yeah, uh, by the yeah. register. Yeah, she sang the little nightgown. You got her. Said, oh, just to get me my nightgown, my nightgown right there. She was telling everybody, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Uh-oh. But that's how, that's what made me think of it. I was like, DeAnthony might be like Serenity, you know, in that way that like she came out of her shell once we all like made her feel invested. And, you know, you, you we're all invested in you showing your personality. Like he might be like that where if he needs everybody. He needs other people to make him feel like they're invested in his music in order for him to do it. Cause I, Aisha, you were a witness. Rico came over and he just sat in that chair, or like either did the music. We did it for hours. You know, did that song, did that song, did that. That's all we were doing. Yeah. That day, that day, it was it was relentless. Or when um him and uh Caitlin went to the what was it Black Caucus? Yeah. And per- to perform Rise Up America. Uh-huh. Remember how that was all he was doing, all he was doing, like because that's how it works. I like that right. They say they say practice makes perfect. Yeah, but we we all practice by ourselves. But he needs the you know he needs the uh, U- Ujima element of it. And then that'll all make, that'll make us all used to it too. Like if we always pestering him about his music, then when I see Grandma, I might be like, Grandma, did you read today? Yeah. All right, well, let's go read. Okay. You know, like it'll it'll just yeah, reinforce it. Yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. It'll be like our lifestyle. We see somebody and we ask, like, "Hey, are you doing what you need to be wow. doing?" All right, well, let me help you. Oh yeah, I got you. And you know, yes. you see me walking out the door. Are you going to the store, Justin? You forgot to check with me and see if we need right. milk. Well, you know, like it makes sense. It should it's work if we apply it. It should work. And it'll keep this house better supplied. That's what I said. At the same time, and we need this house to be better supplied. Yeah. 
All right. Well, that's that's great, Justin. Anybody else got anything else to add before we talk about Ujima? Okay. Yeah, I think everybody. What did you say, Sunday? Did you raise your hand? You got something to say? You got something to say? Uh, Collective work and responsibility. Yeah. What you got to say? I to be good in the school. Gonna You're gonna be good in your school. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We like that. That's what I'm talking about. Papa's like a question. Papa's watching. Papa be a what? Papa's not watching. Oh, he's watching. He's playing with his phone. No, I was. Uh, oh, no. Papa's out. Hello, no. He's going back to work. I'm busted. He's paying attention. I'm talking to you. Last thing I heard. Busted. Say, you said what? Jose, they clean up the toys. Jose, they clean up the toys. Yo, yes. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is always helping Zay Hey, Zay do you help her? Uh, yeah, remember he said he did it while they were right, playing. So she's saying that instead of playing, next time she's going to do her oh, part. Oh, she's got to help her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her part. Yeah. Just did what they said, solve them, yeah. solve the problems. So you said, okay, I'm gonna do my part to help solve it. Yeah, that was brilliant, Larry. Yeah, that was great. That was very good. All right, all right. Libation. All right, then we will now we will do the farewell statement because we have done this one. I tell you, we've had some good discussions every night at clubs. Yeah, well, I saw we were two minutes to 12. Okay, and I said, let's do this. All right. Natasha La Tutanana. Natasha La Tutanana, the farewell statement. Strive for discipline, dedication, and achievement in all you do. Dare struggle and sacrifice and gain the strength that comes from this. Build where you are and dare leave a legacy that will last as long as the, as long as Esther, sun, sun. Yeah. Yeah. and the water flows. There you go. Practice daily. Umoja. Uji Chakalia. Ujima. Ujima. Nia. Kumba. And Imani. And may the wisdom of the ancestors always go forth with us. May the years end meet us, laughing and stronger. May our children honor us by following our example in love and struggle. And at the end of next year, may we gather again together in larger numbers with greater achievement and closer to liberation and a higher level of human life. Happy
African holiday. It's an African holiday. Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa. It's an African holiday. Seven principles and seven days. It's an African holiday. Unity. Unity. Uh, no matter how I try to put it out, yeah, they it does not want to go out. Grandma. Yes. You want to tell everyone uh, out there watching how they can do their own uh, Uj uh, Kwanzaa and uh, Ujima. I mean Ujima. Ujima. How you can do? Yeah, like um, you know how you always give the advice for people sitting uh, at home who may want to try it themselves. Oh, you mean me? The Kwanzaa. Oh, you can uh, talk about you're telling your neighbors and all mm -hmm. yeah, how they yourself. can start their own Kwanzaa at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, first you do it, you can start it with just two or three people in your family. Yeah. And, and, then, and, you, and you are noticing it with growth yeah. because you get interest, it'll make, make it grow. Because you're going to go out and you're going to be telling other people. And, and then some people will want to join you. And then some people want to do it themselves. So that's the way we got spread. It. Spread. Of doing a Kwanzaa. And if you don't know, now you know. Uncle, yeah. you want to tell? Yeah, it's beautiful to uh, have your own Kwanzaa started. Just like uh, Mama was saying. Get started yourself and you see you'll be successful. First, you'll have two people, then four people, mm -hmm. five, they'd be wondering, if we have a Kwanzaa? <laughs> right. Yeah, we're the big Kwanzaa. Yeah. You know, we have a big Kwanzaa where we have a feast, what you call the feast. And they be be looking forward to that feast yeah. day. And then it becomes a tradition. That's yes, right. Just like Christmas. Christmas. All right. Yeah. Kids, Lyric, Xavion, Serenity, you guys want to say anything about Kwanzaa? About uh, what you think about Kwanzaa? Fuck. <laughs> Serenity? Okay. You want to say what you think about Kwanzaa? Fuck. All right. <laughs> Xavier, you want to say? No? He not going to like paparazzi. He better not ever be famous. <laughs> Mom, you want to tell? Uh-oh. Uh no, okay. <laughs> Kwanzaa's good. That's good. All right. Kwanzaa. All right, Mom, you want to say anything to uh, people who might want to be thinking how they can apply uh, Ujima, uh, you know, or in the Kwanzaa principles going well, forward? Well, one thing I think everybody heard today is that when we were talking, people would say, well, that's what I thought when we were talking about Umoja. I raised this. Or when we talked about Kuji Takalia, I raised this. Uh -huh. And it's because all the principles are oh, integrated. Yeah. They're all interdependent. They're all tied together. That you know, you gotta have unity before you can have yeah. self-determination, before you can have collective work and responsibility. So it's all tied together. The good news for some, anybody is that you notice that I use my book, my Kwanzaa book. You notice we use our sheets of paper yeah. to read from. You notice that uh, we keep, you know, a, a bin with all our Kwanzaa oh, materials yeah. in it, our Kanara, yeah. our Mkeka, the mat, uh, the African cloths. We put all that away. And from Kwanzaa to Kwanzaa, so that we have it. And we try to buy extra candles during the year yeah. and put them away when we put everything away together. So that there's always Kwanzaa. And I've gone through different Kanaras uh, that, you know, and I've uh, given Kanaras away to people. Uh, those are the candle holders. But usually you find a good African store or a store that have to do is that's Afrocentric. And you're gonna, most of them are gonna have something for Kwanzaa, but 
The also the good news is you can go online now. Oh yeah. And order everything. Even order the candles. Yeah. You want to show the book one more time? Yes. Uh, it's uh -huh. right behind you. Okay. Like right behind you. Okay. Because I bought this book in 1988 when I was in Los Angeles. And going Kwanzaa before then. And then I was at a celebration and I heard the um, Kwanzaa song and I wrote the Kwanzaa song in the book. And then taught my family how to sing it. Yeah. And Marvin used his kuumba, yeah. his creativity, yeah. and started drumming. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. Give a little example. <laughs> yeah. And God just sent us a drop because yeah. Curtis was at Aisha's apartment yeah. and somebody was moving in the neighborhood. And came up to Curtis and said, "Man, do you want this drum?" That people there. Yes, that's how we got the drum. I never knew that story. Oh, you didn't know that. Uh -huh. And I've been drumming ever since, folks. And Marvin, we always had the little drum before then. Yeah. We had the little drum. Yeah. But, but Curtis brought the big drum. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just eating some candy now. Yeah. Yeah. Some work. <laughs> some work. But um, but that's you know, and then Mama introduced the reading of the scripture. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. as part of our ritual. Been yes. doing it for years. Yeah, okay. I saw so, it too. And so you know, we yeah. we added. It too. But the children have always been an important element of oh, Kwanzaa. Yeah. That's why yeah. Justin and. That's why Michael and all of them know Kwanzaa yeah. because they were raised with it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about that the other day. Uh, so that's the beauty of Kwanzaa is that it's different from year to year. Like Justin says, Mama, we started Kwanzaa in 95. And I'm going, no, it was before then. But it it's okay because... At, at at 95, Justin would have been turning what? How old, Justin? I probably would have been eight then or turn or just turned nine. And that's when it really started sinking in. Eight, nine years old. And it just shows you how it's important to just keep it up, uh, keep your children focused. That's the beautiful thing for parents. This is your time to really get to know your children well. Because they, yeah. you notice in our quads, the kids speak up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they tell us what's on their mind, what's on their, yeah, what they're thinking about, what they think is important. Because you always tell your children to be quiet. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, they have to, they can speak out. Yeah, let them. And they feel like, it's good that they feel like they are part of it. Right. And that makes them not act up, it too. It may be a more respectful. And yeah. technically, uh -huh. you can't do Kwanzaa without children. Yeah, I mean, you need them. Because the, the lighting of that canard. Yeah. Has yeah. to be done by children. Believe it or not, they like wake up in the morning excited. When is what time is Kwanzaa? Ah, <laughs> they, you know, they I, like that. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for Kumba. Yeah, that's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, they get to do their arts. All right, Aisha, you wanna say the final word today? Um, I just think it's a good way of bringing the family close yes and, you know um you know coming together and, yes. and just i guess trying to figure out issues you have and what mm -hmm. everybody can do to solve them as a family yeah. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> thank you justin for the innovation of filming kwanzaa yeah. this year yeah. Yeah. we haven't done that before i figured we need to get it up while we still can you while everyone's still together right. well yes. you know that we'll have that i mean because they'll have that forever now uh -huh. you know they'll be able to That's say right. like we came in the kitchen early and it was playing in the kitchen ah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> well oh okay you want to end lyric? yeah uh -huh. okay go ahead i get to see you all that day that I haven't saw it for a long time. Oh, when everybody comes to the, the big Kwanzaa. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that's true. You get to see everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Trinity said I went to. Okay, Serenity. <laughs> <laughs>
I get to play on my tablet. Yeah, and I can get no lady. No, it's about Kwanzaa. Yeah. All right. I heard what she said. What? She said uh, she gets to see everybody. Right. Yeah. You do see people on the tablet. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. She's right. You do see you can see everybody on the tablet. You can see Kanora. You can see Kanora. And you can see Kanora. Yes, you can see Kanora. You can see birthday parties. Davion, nice. you want to say anything before we finish? Uh, what? That you can that you, that you can tell everybody that what you're gonna do this year better. You can tell everyone what you're gonna do this better next year. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Uncle. You want to start? You want to drum us out? Well, folks, that's all, folks.